soldiers over here! Ah, uh, maybe you Momons can help us out. You see, the Godfishers were traveling this way with some fresh kite making materials, but they ran into some giant bisons and they kinda got them trapped. We don't give a wet fart about the Godfishers. Oh, but they're poor slaves. Their plight has touched our hearts, and we want to, um, liberate them. If you take care of the bison, we'll grab the meat stickers, uh, victims, and our boss, Risky Brisket, will give you something cool for your trouble, huh? She's down at Meat Clown, near the Godfisher Shrine. Who, me? No, Jengas! Oh, I mean, bison give me hives. It's a real problem. Nothing. We promise. We're gonna have them over for dinner, and then say adios. Thanks, Bubble. Despite his words, I don't reckon the clown has those folks' best interest at heart. Meat's back on the menu, cabron! We'll eat like king! Risky can peddle those shitty clown burgers to somebody else! Get he cold! What's your favorite cut? Leg, no ribs, no cabeza, no... Wait, we're talking about bison, right? Bienvenidos to Meat Clown Barbecue. <laughs> I'm Risky Brisket. What'll you have? Hey, clowns gotta eat too, right? <laughs> now, what do you want? We got the clown burger and... Yeah, well, actually, that's it. We're out of everything else. Only one way to find out, Mix Corazones. <gasps> What's it going to be? <laughs> you jokers think I'm a fool, not a clown. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't remember shit. <laughs> if you were here yesterday, prove it. How'd you feel after you ate the clown burger? <laughs> <laughs> so you have had a clown burger. <laughs> oh, my memory's slipping. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Guess I better quit drinking so much prairie punch. Uh, fine, you passed the burger challenge. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> now I gotta find some other sucker. <laughs> this bites. Believers cannot enter the shrine of the wind catchers. Leave or die.
baby.
the heathens! Prepare the kites! The heathens are exposed! Gods, protect me! I shall thwart them!
degenerates make me sick. Who are you? How dare you disturb my meditations? I suppose I know him. One wild dog looks much like another. Do they? You're Cordite? Hmm. What do you want? Don't talk about what you don't know. You are not god fishers. You don't know our gods. You? <laughs> On the other hand, who better? Fine. How will you save Star that dreams? Hmm. Interesting. I have been thinking the same. Only an omen will convince Star that dreams to leave this camp. And I have known for many weeks what that omen should be. I have just not found the courage to follow through. Perhaps your rude interruption is a sign that I must act. Not more here. Near the wind farm where we fly our kites is an old ice cream truck. Meet me there. But you must promise not to tell Star that dreams of this. He must see my omen as a miracle. And not a suicide. I have taught Star the Dreams how to read the signs the sky sends us. When he finds my body, hanging from a kite, flying from the Alaska surprise truck, he will see it as a clear message to go north, which is what I have been begging him to do since we came to this Congress of Snakes. The gods do not deal in half measures. An omen must be great and terrible to be believed. The loss of a nobody would mean little to Star that dreams. The loss of his truest love, that would move him. That is the only thing that would move him. I love my husband more than living. And to help him achieve his destiny, I would kill myself a thousand times over. He is the chosen of the gods, who will lead my people to their promised land and make them lords. There is a grove of old windmills on top of a mesa, where the wind never stops. We have made it a sacred space, a place of sacrifice. Head toward the mechanic's garage, then take the track around past it. You will soon see the path to the wind farm. Follow it past the Bayaso outpost, and you will find the ice cream truck. Stay away from the godfishers at the wind farm. Come, before my courage fails me. These degenerates make me get away. My knees hurt! You're telling me! <laughs>
There should be some usable kites near the bone pit, where we throw the limbs of the sacrifices before they are sent to the sky. Wild animals prowl there, attracted by the meat, so be careful. Take the unguarded path on the heights. worse than I expected. Subsidence rates are close to one and a half percent over a six-month period. I warned the planning committee that the reservoir was going to be a problem. The soil up here is too sandy and erodes too easily. We should have set the pilings for the windmills about 30 feet deeper, but no one wanted to spend that kind of money. So now we have to keep a crew on payroll to keep shoring up the site. If we don't, then in a few years, they're all going to be lying around like pickup sticks. enough people to launch it good now kill me and strap me to it I don't care what her wishes are we mustn't do this do you think I've been standing out here in the cold wind waiting for you to talk me out of it 
If I had changed my mind, I would have gone back to the camp and... and crawled into Star That Dreams' bed. Do it, damn you. Do it. You are braver than I expected. Now, my arms and legs, do it. and sisters, hear me! There has been a miracle. The gods of the sky knew I was deaf to their signs. So they took my beloved halo moon as a sign, flown from a truck bearing the words Alaska Surprise. The meaning could not be clearer. Our salvation lies in the north. So pack your tents and gather your slaves, my children. We must march! <laughs> <laughs> 